The Palace of Versailles is a must-see when visiting Paris and was one of the highlights of our time there. Chances are that if you're watching this video, you're either already planning to go or you're still deciding if you want to make this a day trip or not. If you've decided to go, we 100% support this life choice and hope this video confirms that it was the right one. If you're still on the fence, we highly recommend going and hope this video can convince you to do so. In this video, we'll tell you about the various things you can see and do at the palace, as well as talk through some logistics on how to get to Versailles from Paris. We've also included the exact ticket link that we used to visit the Palace of Versailles in the description below, as well as some other helpful resources, so be sure to check those out when you're planning your day trip. The Palace of Versailles dates back to the 17th century and was previously home to French royalty and political leaders before becoming a tourist attraction. Many world events have taken place here, such as the signing of the Treaty of Versailles, which took place in the Hall of Mirrors in 1919 and signaled the end of World War I. The palace is a masterpiece of French Baroque architecture, boasting intricate sculptures and impressive columns. It's also home to a vast number of art pieces, including numerous paintings and tapestries. There are several lavishly decorated royal apartments, a royal chapel that once hosted weddings, and religious ceremonies, and a richly decorated opera house. Though the palace itself is a must-see, you could spend a full day wandering through the nearly 2,000 acre park and gardens that date back to 1624, admiring the French formal landscaping style, beautiful fountains, and sculptures. The grounds of the estate are so big that you can rent a golf cart to get around easier. It's not super cheap to to rent them at 38 euros per hour, but we did see many people cruising around in the golf carts having a great time. The Grand Canal is the most picturesque place to sit and admire the beautiful gardens. King Louis XIV used to row boats in this canal, and if you would like to do the same, you can rent a rowboat for around 19 euros per hour. We got little baguette sandwiches from a takeaway cafe near the canal and enjoyed them by the water. This was the perfect place to enjoy the views of the gardens and soak up the beautiful weather. There are actually multiple options for restaurants on the grounds, including some sit-down options, but we would definitely recommend the picnic by the water option. Even though the palace was fairly full with tourists during our visit, the gardens certainly felt a lot less crowded due to the vast amount of space to spread out. This is why we recommend spending just as much time outside as inside at the Palace of Versailles. The journey to get to Versailles might seem a little bit intimidating, but we're here to tell you that it's really not all that difficult and well worth the minimal pre-planning required to make it happen. The Palace of Versailles is only a short 30 to 40 minute train ride away from the city center of Paris, depending on where you're staying, and the subsequent walk from the train station you arrive at to the Palace of Versailles is about 15 minutes. So roughly 45 minutes to an hour on either end of your visit. When we arrived in Paris, we bought a booklet of metro tickets to use throughout the city's metro system. System. The train that goes out to Versailles is not the regular metro and is a separate train called the RER train and requires a separate ticket. We purchased these tickets for the RER train day of at a station near the Eiffel Tower where we departed from. They were only four euros per person per direction. So for the two of us, we spent 16 euros round trip. For this RER train, you'll specifically want to be on line C to get to Versailles. The majority of train stations connected to this C line in the main part of Paris run along the southern bank of the Seine River. We departed from the station called... <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. Pont de Lama? Kinda sounds like Lama, doesn't it? Pont de Lama. I'll put it on the screen so you can see how it's spelled since I obviously cannot speak French. That's where we departed from to get to Versailles, but you can depart from any of the stations connected to that sea line. Google Maps typically recommends this RER sea line route as well. So if you're using that, it should be able to point you to the train station nearest you to get to Versailles. The company that runs these trains has self-serve kiosks at many of their train stations, which are pretty straightforward to use and have many language options. But if you find the process 
confusing, feel free to purchase tickets with a staff member at the ticket booth. Tell them you'd like however many round trip tickets to Versailles and they'll set you up with the tickets that you need. The station we'll be arriving at, here we go again, <laughs> is Versailles Chateau Rive Gouche. Is my French getting better? I can't tell. Is it getting better? I think it's getting better. And from Versailles Chateau Rive Gouche, you have about a 15 minute walk from there to the palace. For touring the palace, one thing you'll want to know is when you're buying tickets, you'll need to pick an entry time. If you can, we recommend aiming for an early time slot. This way you can begin your visit with the two to three hour tour of the palace, followed by a lunch out back in the gardens, and then whatever time and energy you have left, you can use to explore the grounds before heading back to Paris. We've included the exact ticket that we purchased through Get Your Guide somewhere up here and in the description below. Additionally, we've added some other highly rated ticket options, including some for guided tours and tours that include transportation to and from Paris in case you're not comfortable with navigating the train system by yourself and don't mind paying the extra cost. We certainly recommend purchasing these tickets ahead of time so that you not only have a better chance at getting the entry time that you'd like for the palace, but because these tickets do tend to sell out. Okay, hopefully this helped you in planning a day trip to Versailles and maybe convinced you to go if you were on the fence. If you found this video helpful at all, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and safe travels to Versailles. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. You're saying au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. That's what I said the first time. <laughs>